What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable valuable video for you guys Now this video right here is going to be over Traffic I have tons and tons of people always hitting me up asking about traffic They say you go over so much landing page stuff and HTML, but you never go over traffic and I'm like bro You're lying to yourself because let me show you I have tons of videos on traffic I'm gonna show you 10 but I even have more than that it's just the fact that most people don't do research, and I'll get into that in just a second. But let me show you. All right, so let me go here. One traffic video, two traffic videos, three traffic videos, four traffic videos, five traffic videos, six traffic videos, seven traffic videos, eight, nine, ten, and there's even more than that on my page, guys. So... When people always tell me I'm always going over this stuff, but I don't go over enough traffic, I'm like, bro, listen, what you don't understand, right? What you don't understand is that there's no real secret. Think People think that there's like some magical secret. They'd be like, yo, give me, you're not really telling us what you really do. Give us the stuff that, that's really bringing in the traffic. I'm like, bro, listen. The things, this is how you guys keep getting got by all of these gurus and all of this stuff, guys. They're, this is, I'm going to teach you guys something, right? Because I have all these courses. I'll show you. I have tons and tons of courses that I download every single day, right? From, from millionaires, from people who are doing trainings and all this stuff, right? As you can see, paid traffic, all this stuff, right? I, I go over all this stuff, guys. And this is how you guys keep getting got, right? This is how they keep taking your money. This is because they use words like this underground traffic sources right and you buy it and you find out it's some bs there's no secret traffic sources guys everything's on the internet right everything is on the internet what i've learned is that they use certain words to trigger in your brain like secret traffic sources and even i've done it right because i know it works you know to get more views to get more clicks but th it really works and you can use it you know what i mean but this is why you guys keep getting gotten th and you think that there's really some underground traffic sources that nobody knows about that people are just using and making millions off of. It doesn't work like that, guys. I'm here to tell you that most people who make a lot of money use the exact same traffic sources, right? And we're going to go over that because I don't want you guys to continue to get got by all these other gurus and buying their, you know, uh, you know, thousand, two thousand dollar courses. And then you, you, it's some stuff that you could have researched and, and got for free. For the most part right now i'm not saying never pay for anybody's stuff but what i'm saying is before you do that make sure you research and i was just on the phone shout outs to trevor i was just on the phone with one of my one-on-one -on -one students and we were just talking about that and i was congratulating him because he does a lot of research he always researches before he comes to me he researches everything he finds out all this information he even finds out stuff that i have no clue about that he he ended up teaching me right and so i'm like dude i'm like you're gonna make six figures one day and I can almost guarantee it, bro, because of the way that you research. He reminds me of me. Whenever I want something, whenever I'm trying to figure something out, I go to Google, I go to YouTube, and I search, right? So if I wanna, if I wanna know, let's go to, let's go Google real quick, and let me just, you know, give you guys an example of what goes to my brain, right? If I say, hmm, let's just type in secret traffic sources, right? So I'll do stuff like this, secret traffic sources, and you see all these videos, so I start clicking through them, and I take bits and pieces from each each video that I watch, or I may go down here, and I'll, I may uh, click on some of these, right, and I'm just researching, 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 I might type in something else, uh, undiscovered traffic sources, or best paid traffic sources, and I'm always researching to find out, you know, what ways I can do traffic, you know, uh, in a better way, right, so I'm going to give you guys a few traffic sources that you already know because i've already talked about it but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna go over it. so let me let me go over this right here guys so check this out so traffic sources there's not one of these that everybody doesn't use already right so when people are telling you you know uh about traffic and they they just trying to give you all these secrets there's not really any secrets guys because every everything you want to know is on the internet okay so we know number one website in the world is what? Google. Okay, so if we know that psychologically, wouldn't that tell us, okay, we should probably learn how to do Google or run Google traffic, right? So why not type in how to run a Google ad, right? The proper way to run a Google ad. 
all that stuff is free. A lot of people have courses. They may go into more detail, but for the most part, everything you need is on the internet. You know what I mean? So if you want to, you know, find out how to get a lot of traffic, okay, well, now you need to learn how to do a, a proper landing page, right? But all of that information is also on YouTube, guys. So that's what I'm saying. There's no true guru. It's just that people research, okay? And when people research, they find things that you haven't looked for and then they can put it in a video and now they now they appear to be an expert even when they're really not. They just do more research than you. And I think that's the only difference between a lot of people. And so we're going with Google. Okay, that's number one. So we know Google ads are popular. So now we just need to know how to run one. And you can look up how to do a Google ad tutorial on YouTube and bingo. Now you know how to run Google traffic. Now you already know how to, since I told you guys about the credit card stuff and how to get your credit fixed and use that as an advertising budget. Now you know, okay, now I have an advertising budget for it. Now I just need to plan my ad out and I can run my ad. And that's autopilot traffic, guys. And the reason why I tell you Paid traffic is always going to be the best. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care if, if you see all these other people doing free and they send they make this much, guys. Nine times out of ten, it, it may only happen for a select few people. But for the majority, guys, and the reason why I say paid traffic is usually the best is because people are now coming to you. You're not going to people. I know a lot of you are not good at, at promoting or you're not good at talking to people. So why not put your money where your mouth is, right? If you don't want to talk to people like that, right? And you don't want to have to be in front of people all the time trying to push whatever opportunity that you have, why not just run an ad and kick your feet up? Do you see what I'm saying? So Google is very powerful for that. You can look up how to do blogs. A lot of people do blogs and they kill it. Right. And I want to, real quick. Let me go to Google because this was about traffic and it's going to be about traffic. But I want to see if I can give you guys an example, guys. So let's see. Best credit cards. Check this out. I want to give you guys an example of how this is done. All right. And so you got websites like boom, like this credit cards dot com. Right. And so this essentially is a blog. Right. This is essentially a blog. Anybody can make one like this. Right. So they just put the best credit cards. OK, I guess for a certain credit score on one website, just how I told you guys about my website. Right. They have all these other different categories and all that. Right. So then all of these are tied to an affiliate link. Right. And so this person may either own a lot of these cards or they don't have to own any credit cards. They just researched on what's the best cards, made a website out of it. And then drove traffic to it on Google. Now, when you click it, there's an affiliate link attached to this. So if they do have the card, or even if they don't, when someone signs up, they'll get paid for it. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. You can create things in any niche and drive traffic to it. Okay? And that goes with CPA as well. The exact same thing. But you guys just got to know how to do it. So Nerd Wallet, they do the same thing. If you ever came across Nerd Wallet, it's the same thing, guys. They have the best credit cards here and there all these are attached to someone's affiliate link they're making money okay all these different categories for travel rewards low interest they're they're smart they did it you know what i mean and so this is what i'm saying they're using the power of google i'm not sure if they're going to show me the track i mean how much traffic they get but if they do let's see okay so we see that they get 16 million monthly visitors right 16 million guys and as you can see, they're running ads, display ads, email ads, referrals, social media. They're running ads, guys. A lot of these are search because when they first started, if you typed in the best credit cards, they were running an ad on Google and they were at the top of the ad. But I already told you guys how to get to the top of Google by you by by using your uh, credit cards to run your campaigns. You can scale it. Now your your ad is at the very top. So let me give you guys an example of what I mean. Bingo, right here, right? This is Credit Karma, but he, when Nerd Wallet first started, they were always right here. As you can see, it says ad. We already know that. It says ad. So when someone types something in, naturally, they're going to click on the very first thing that's at the top, okay? So when they click that, bingo, you're in the money. You didn't come to them. They came to you. Now you make money in your sleep. That's kind of how this works, guys. So the next thing, Facebook, 
right? We know Facebook is very, very powerful. People think it's cliche when I say Facebook. Oh, Facebook is tired. Facebook doesn't work. Yes, it does. People are making hundreds and thousands of dollars off of all of these that I have on here. It's just you don't do the research. You don't do enough, you know, uh, studying to, to get it. Facebook ads, I should just put ads, are very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. I don't even have to tell you how to run them because it's on the internet. If you want to learn how to run a Facebook ad properly, people have a bunch of tutorials. But me, being a good guy, you know, I'm not going to do you like that. I want you to go research it, right? Because it's only going to make you better. Because I could have just packaged a bunch of stuff up from these courses and freaking sold you something. You know what I mean? But I don't want to do that because I know people did me like that. And I'm like, yo, everything is on the internet, guys. Just search for it. You will learn how to run proper ads. You can type in how to run Facebook ads for CPA. People will show you. You know what I mean? So this is the kind of stuff that you can do to scale your businesses by using these traffic sources, right? And you can also use Facebook groups. There's there's different groups. A lot of people are going to these make money online groups. So let me see if I can give you guys uh, an example because I'm, I'm a part of a lot of groups. Uh, let's see, um, groups. I'm a part of a lot of groups and I'm trying to see if I can find, oh, okay, this is a perfect one. No, this ain't one because I think this is one I was trying to make a while back. Let me go to, this jobs not hiring group is a really good one. I might use that one in the future. So let me see if I can, let's see if this is one. That one only got, no, nah, that ain't a good one. That's a fan page. Trying to find, uh, make money online. Let's see about this one. This one is kind of trash too, but I'm going to give you an example. So a lot of people post in these groups, right? These kind of groups, like the advertiser business groups and all of that. People in here are posting all day about their stuff. They're not really focused on your stuff, right? You got people who may say how and how you do this. Now, this would probably be perfect for CPA for people to just be curious. Now, for me, if I was doing CPA in a Facebook group, typically I would just either make a landing page, right? Wrap it in a bit.ly link. And then when I make a post like this, I would just put the link because instead of having people say anything, people are just curious by nature. They'll click and see if you have an interesting enough title, they'll go through and you'll get a commission. But this is how you get traffic, guys. But a lot of people just post all their stuff in here and they're not getting really too much engagement because that's all everybody's focused on is their own stuff. Right. So why not go to a group that's not really talking about this stuff? You know what I mean? So, for instance, you can go to an Apple iPhone group or Apple Watch group or a job hiring group that people are not really looking for this stuff. And you can kind of, you know, make a CPA offer uh, that converts to them. So, for instance, like I was telling you guys about the whole job thing, you can make a job CPA offer and promote it in a job niche. People, are, you're not it's going to have uh, it's going to be very targeted and you're going to have less uh, people that are going to be in competition with you because they don't even know what you're doing. They just think you're promoting a regular job. Uh, but you got so many things, but that's what I mean. Think outside the box and use your brain guys. If you're, if you're, whatever you're doing, if it's not working, either you're not doing it enough or you're not, you know, uh, or you just need to do something different. Right. And so when it comes to traffic guys, there's no real, real secrets, right? We know, listen, okay. I'm gonna go to number three right now, because listen, a lot of you guys watch me on YouTube. I have a lot of subscribers now. Check this out. You watch a lot of other people, but then you come on the someone's video and you ask them, how are you getting traffic? Do you guys see where I'm going with this? You come on my video and you ask me, how am I getting traffic? And my question is, how did you get here? You watched a YouTube video. So why is that not clicking for some people? People are getting traffic from their YouTube page, their YouTube videos. You know what I mean? So it's like, YouTube is huge. Why not make a YouTube channel? Oh, I don't want to show my face. Well, you don't have to. They have screen sharing programs like I'm using. I'm not showing my face. You know what I mean? But if you don't have a problem with it, you can show your face. You know what I mean? But it's, it's things out there that you guys can use that you can make money from, right? Everybody on my channel can become an expert. You just got to do the research. Research, package it up, sell it, make your own courses, remake videos you already saw. That's all people do. Guys, I see Kevin David and uh, all these other big YouTubers remake videos from people who have smaller channels than them that's just not really getting noticed. They'll go to someone's videos that don't have much subscribers, 
soak up all the information from them, remake the video, and post it on their channel. And now they look like some crazy expert. Now they can sell a course. Now they can do this. That's how they're getting traffic. You know what I mean? So, like I said, there's no true hidden traffic source. It's just the traffic sources that you are on, you're just not, you know, maximizing them. Same way with Instagram. Instagram is a beast. I've been telling people about Instagram forever. I told people a long time ago, when you're on Instagram, if you're starting a brand new page in a certain niche, for instance, a cliche niche that everybody uses is weight loss, but I'll just use it for an example. If you're starting a weight loss channel, why not buy your I mean, why not buy your followers? Why not? You know why? Because most people tell you not to buy them when they're buying them. That doesn't make sense to me, right? But they don't want you to be in the same competition as them, so they tell you not to buy them. Okay? So Whenever you get your Instagram account and it's zero, right? If you're trying to send people to an account that only has 50, 60 uh, followers, they're not going to buy into what you're doing because naturally people are uh, attracted to, to people who've already made it, okay? So for instance, like uh, Tyler Perry got on an award show, I believe, and he was just talking about uh, empowerment and building communities and wealth and all that stuff. But people took it a lot different because he's already famous, but a lot of people have been saying the exact same things he said, but since he has a platform, they listen. And that's the same way with Instagram, okay? So if you if your platform is not big, right, then you're not going to make a lot of money for in, unless you run ads. But if you just want all based off social proof, no one's going to give you the time of day because you don't look like you've made it. So what I usually tell people is if you want to get more traffic, Make yourself look more appealing online, right? You see it. Go to your favorite YouTuber, I mean, your favorite Instagram people, your favorite YouTube, and watch successful people and copy successful people. That's how you become successful. You can copy successful people, and then you become successful, right? If they're doing it and it's working, do the same thing, right? And so that's what I mean by that. So if they come to your page, and now you have, you know, 10, 15,000 followers, right? And now you post stuff and you're getting really good engagement. Oh, now they're interested in what you have. They may just click on your link and see who this person really is. Who is this person, right? That's kind of the society we in, just to keep it 100 with you guys, right? Solo ads. We know about solo ads. Where do you get them? I told you guys. This place right here. This is one place. Uh, solo ad testimonials. I went over this in a video before, but for my new people... This is a website group with nothing but legit solo ads, right? Now, a lot of this stuff is split testing. A lot of this stuff, you may waste some money, just keeping it 100. But once you get it down packed, you got it, right? Once you find a traffic provider that, that, that works for you, you got it. And so this guy showing his list of how many subscribers he got based off of, you know, the, the using his traffic. And so the thing I like about this is that they show you, you know, mixed traffic, they show you how many they ordered, right? They'll tell you the person that gave them the traffic, okay? And then they'll tell you if it's good or not. And if it's bad traffic, they'll also tell you this guy was trash, his traffic was worth nothing, and they removed them people out the group. But for the most part, everybody in here is good. They don't play that. You know, they don't play the fake traffic and all that. So when you're ordering from a lot of these people, you can assure that, they, that you're going to get some real traffic. Now, some of it can be pricey. That is completely up to you, but this is a one traffic source that you can use if you just kind of want to have people coming to you. But more, more so, this is to build a list, uh, and then later on, you'll make money by sending stuff out to your list. Uh, you get a couple conversions here and there, you know what I mean? But this is just kind of really to build a good lib, good size list. All right, so that, you got what, Udemy? We all know about these. Like, we got this one. We got Udemy. This is another legit traffic place that people get really good solo ads traffic from. So, like I said, all this stuff is here. You just haven't used it yet, right? And you think that there's some magical traffic source. There's not. It's the same stuff you've been here. You know what I mean? It's the exact same stuff. But we'll keep going, right? We got native ads. We know about the native ads. Those are those little article ads. And I'll Google it, like just like you can Google. This is all I do. When I hear stuff... I Google it and I'll say example, right? I'll go to images and I'll just see what it looks like, right? So it's these little ads. Whenever you see certain articles and you start seeing these little ads at the bottom that kind of blend in with the content at the top, these are native ads. They blend in on certain blogs and they just look official and people want to click on them. So these are native ads. You can run those. 
you can Google what's the best native ad pay traffic sources. That's how I find traffic sources. I just keep looking up stuff. That's it. The researchers make the most money. The people who are lazy and don't want to do it don't want to make money. They're not going to make money, right? And that's why a majority of people online fail. But most people won't tell you that. They just want to keep taking your money and giving you hopes that you're going to make it one day. That's not cool. You know what I mean? I ain't tripping because I know I'm going to continue to get blessed because I continue to bless other people with the game. But check this out. Pay per click. Same stuff. Email marketing. Same stuff. Reddit, Quora, you got Twitter, you got TikTok, all of these websites that you guys are on every single day, you can make money from. That's it. I mean, it's no magical traffic source. Now, I might use these kind of words because I know it triggers a certain thing when people, you know, if they're searching for something and they see crazy traffic source, they're going to click on it, right? Because it's just human nature. People want the secrets. People want the Right. But the difference between me and a lot of other people, I'm not trying to capitalize off of you. I'm actually trying to help you win. You know what I mean? And so most people are not going to tell you. But like I said, I got tons of courses and stuff like that. That people teach this psychological stuff and they know how to get into your brain and they know how to make you feel, you know, a certain way and make you want to buy. And they do all this stuff uh, and say all these these trigger words as far as when it goes when it comes to traffic uh, that you, you, you want to buy in. Right. And so. My thing is, guys, just do your research. Everything you want is out there. My 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 most favorite traffic source would be this one and this one. These are my two favorite traffic sources of all time, right? This one is starting to be one. Google, I love it for certain things. Like when I did the movie thing, Google was perfect because I know people search Google for that, for like the movie stuff. But when it comes to everything else... Guys, these three right here. First, I would say probably first as far as that passive income, I would say YouTube. Second, I would say Facebook ads. Uh, but these are my favorite. Absolutely. Uh, 2020, I'm going to start doing a lot more email marketing uh, and stuff like that. But those are my favorite traffic sources of all time, period. Like, it's, there's no secret. You can make millions. We told you you can run YouTube ads with the budget that you can have using your credit cards and stuff like that. But doing it in the smart way, the same way as far as uh, uh the Facebook ads. Guys, you got to learn it. Once you learn it, it's game over. I want your 2020 to be blessed. And by you knowing this stuff, it will be. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Uh, You know, try to do the best I can to make sure y'all get what y'all need. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, hopefully it helped. Uh, if you guys need anything, like I said, uh, my all my coaching and stuff is over on Thanksgiving, which I believe is Thursday. So you guys got to get in, and if not, then the price is going to go up, and you're just going to have to pay that regular fee. You feel me? It's been, I had it running for like a month. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, guys, I will see you in another video. Hit my line at the bottom. I got my Instagram down there, my text messages and all that, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace.